Hi, Teja. I wanted to respond to your question that you posted over on the Five Pencil Method community. And you asked the question uh, that you have a doubt whether the straight edge and ruler method works for the pictures that are tilted. I mean, for example, both eyes are not at the same level on the page. And I wanted to let you know that this is precisely where you want to be able to take advantage of it. Uh, this is going to help you establish that little attitude, that little personality that comes through uh, that you want to capture on your paper, on your drawing, and help interpret who this person really is. If you miss it, uh, it's just a shame not to be able to capture that wonderful little tilt that changes the equation so uh, much. And so what you will do is you will use your uh, straight edge and you will run it, like you say, from one eye to the other, outside corner to the outside corner or inside corner to inside corner, I don't care. It could be any reference point you want to count on. And as you run this through, you run it right on out to your picture. Now, this is uh, right along parallel with your drawing. You can have it outside your drawing. If you have a large enough sheet, it can actually be inside your drawing. But you want to keep this very parallel. And as you have this straight edge, it will run right into your picture. Now, you can use it to make your bearing line, let's say, that main base angle that you want to start drawing from, and or you can go ahead and uh, just make uh, some verification of what you've already drawn. But uh, this is a great opportunity for you also to actually construct your picture. Uh, you can also use this bearing line that you create with this angle uh, to uh, decide the size relationship that your picture is going to be. And uh, let's just say that your reference is one half the size you actually want to draw. So if you uh, make uh, your mark for both the outer corners of the eye and make a measurement on your reference photo, you can double that measurement, let's just say. That's just an example. You can make it whatever percentage you want of increase or decrease. And you can make that... Uh, uh, mark on the line that will help establish that. Now, now you can take that corner and you can come down to the mouth, or you can take that corner and come down to the corner of the collar and just run it through, and later you'll be able to intersect that and tell exactly where the corner of the, of the collar is, or the corner of the mouth. And you can see that you can use that straight edge and run it right through from ear ring to ear ring. You can go from corner of the mouth to corner of the mouth. You can even see the angle that the nostrils are and the angle of the nose. And there's so many wonderful angles to verify and utilize in this picture. You know, her blouse or shirt is full of angles. Here's one here, the side of her neck. There's all kinds of things that you can use to develop great proportion. And I like my students to always, uh, you know, start visualizing the angles and visualizing how things line up vertically and horizontally. Uh, and so the grid even helps. I don't particularly care for the grid for myself because it's a lot of work, but some people really like it, and it's a wonderful opportunity to again start educating your mind and giving you a starting place. You can start using less and less and less of these aids until you finally have uh, enough understanding or visualization of your subject that you can start drawing more and more freehand. So I think it's just fantastic. I would never want to miss the wonderful tilt of her head. Uh, it just would change the whole a dynamic of who she is and what she's communicating in this picture. So uh, I also encourage you to uh, <clears throat> uh, maybe make a smaller picture, uh, a smaller reference. You can print out uh, different sizes, maybe a bigger one for you to be able to see your subject better if you just want to look at it. Uh, and also a smaller one because it can be out of the way of the outside of the of the paper. As you see, uh, you can make this uh, on the outside edge or the inside, depending on how large your drawing paper is. But uh, 
it doesn't make any difference how small the reference photo is. And this is what I want to really uh, let you know is every angle is always true. If you keep this picture parallel with your paper every time you reference something, it doesn't make any difference whether it's a small little photograph or not. Every angle is going to be completely accurate if you keep it parallel. And so you don't have to have a huge picture. Although you want to be able to see your reference points on your reference uh, well enough to line the uh, straight edge up, it's still a great opportunity. Now, I also want to encourage you to take advantage, if you'd like, uh, over on the 5 pencilmethodcom you will see other tips and tricks, and uh, it will take you to uh, 5 pencilmethodcom tutorials, and, uh, and then uh, when you click on tips and tricks, you'll also see how to lay out a drawing. And this one isn't on a full portrait, it's on an eye, but it still gives you an example and a demonstration of how to use that straight edge. <clears throat> it also uh, includes uh, the recipe with the divider. And the divider, along with the straight edge, is such a wonderful opportunity for you to do virtually everything you want to do in as simple or as much as you want to use it. Uh, you can just use it to verify things or you can use it to completely structure your picture but you have everything with those two tools and keeping your reference parallel to the outer edges of your drawing that you will ever need to do an accurate uh, structure and uh, proportionally uh, do your drawing. Uh, and this is one thing that people have a lot of hard, you know, a hard time with is proportion. And so this gives you a chance to start visualizing not only the angles and the vertical and horizontal, but the shapes that uh, start uh, coming into play and start developing because of the way everything's intersecting. And uh, I hope this makes some sense. I think it will if you read this, uh, if you look at this uh, uh, video and watch that demonstration. And, uh, and it'll give you an opportunity to have a lot more confidence and still start building that memory bank and learning how to see and visualize your picture so that you'll be able to put down in your drawing what you actually see and express it. And I'm looking forward, if you would like to have you post your picture over there in the 5 Pencil Method community, that's what it's for, to be able to show others, uh, you know, what you're doing and even the stages. It's wonderful to show the, the stages of development. You can get some feedback from uh, others there and uh, they all like to participate and share. And uh, and then uh, you can go ahead and continue asking questions. This is actually exactly what the site is meant to be, is to help us grow and progress as artists. So look forward to that. Talk to you later. Thanks a lot for your question.